Oh, whatever. Tom Holland's always saying every spoiler and he's still working there. It's fine. Young guy, <laughs> Leo Newman, gets packed into a suitcase by a masked gang. NYPD flags four suspects. Congratulations. I'm not going to give any spoilers. Boys, is going to be hard. I've watched the whole series. Yeah, I know. I'm trying my best not to give any spoilers either. It's not that <laughs> easy. <laughs> like, Georgina, how difficult is it? I mean, your family and friends, I think everyone's on episode three. When you know exactly what's going to happen, is it really difficult, boyfriend, family, friends, to say, guys, I can't tell you? I just can't oh, no, you. I tell them everything. <laughs> The thing is, like, I, I talk to my family and, like, my boyfriend and, like, there's a few select friends, but they're all safe sources. Um, they're not going to tell anyone. And half the time, they don't really care. They're just annoyed that I'm kind of ruining the show for them. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the amount of times I've told my sister, and then this happens, and then this happens, and she's like, stop. I, I want to watch it. Like, don't ruin it for me. Um I literally think you going to the cinema must be the worst thing in the world as well if you've watched the film already. Yeah. <laughs> Natalie Thompson. Yeah. You know, if anybody from the Marvel Universe is watching this, you're never going to get a role in those films because they oh, make... whatever. Them... Tom Holland's always saying every spoiler and he's still working there. It's fine. Okay. Good point. <laughs> I'm going to shut up. But listen, you have... <laughs> Georgina, Natalie, boy, does she go through it. Let's just even... Just tell me what it felt like to wear a wedding dress. I don't know if she, it felt like she was standing in the toilet, but she was in the most, the dirtiest, dingiest room you could imagine, being locked up on her wedding day. How did that feel? Oh, it was so much fun. The wedding dress itself was something we were really um, kind of looking for when we were doing a costume. We were trying to figure out what would work best. And the first um, dresses that were brought in um, by the costume designer in the costume department they were quite demure. Um, they were quite stylish and a little bit more kind of like, you know, the modern dresses you see now, they're a, a little bit more fitted and kind of silky or whatever. And I was like, no, 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 no. It has to be big. It has to be like something that's going to look insane when you're sat in a police station. So kind of. Yeah, it was me and it was the director. We both kind of came together and were like, it's got to be big, right? It's got to be. I mean, which in the end for me, I was wandering around in this huge dress for weeks. So <laughs> it wasn't the most comfortable thing. But I mean, I think it's it looks pretty kind of iconic and like just amazing her walking through a police station with this massive dress and the bouquet of flowers. It felt like an Instagram moment, you know, and I think yeah. we should have on Instagram because I was like, this is what Instagram's made for. These are the types yes. of pictures that we need to see. <laughs> Natalie also I feel like as an actress she's got so many different layers she's emotional she's tough she's like the sister who's looking after her sister loyal yeah um it was it was a really exciting kind of character to delve into and it was great when we were filming it we kind of tried different ways of doing it because sometimes you know Stefan who was um, one of the directors and Chris it would kind of be let's push it as far as we can in her being really tough and kind of venomous and then it was like let's pull it back and kind of see a bit more of her her warm side or kind of her sweet side with her sister and then we see the emotion and I think that the writing and the directors and you know and hopefully me we all kind of work together to kind of make sure that you see all these different aspects of her personality at different times and also it's quite I think with all the characters you're just not really sure at any point what's true and what's not you're kind of always second guessing oh is this a real moment that she's feeling or is she doing this because she wants this end goal um which was really fun to play as well I think a bit that was probably the best part of it because I love like mysteries and almost like detective crime things like who done it who's the innocent one who's the guilty one I'm wondering with the scripts did you get them ahead of time or did you get episode to episode were you still trying to figure out what was going on with her or did you know no I would to be to begin with, we were getting them episode by episode. Mm -hmm. And that was sort of the plan. So when we all joined, no, none of us knew who did it. None of us knew who's innocent, who's guilty, um, which also is quite kind of nice because as an actor, you're not having to play, oh, I know what happens in episode eight. 
so maybe I need to like add a hint here and then maybe it gets heavy handed and you know it's kind of better that everybody doesn't really know but then about halfway through the series we got the rest of the scripts because it kind of became important at a time that um, everybody was on the same page <laughs> and knew what was going Anyone. on. I know you've already been asked but for the sake of the camera are you sure you don't want legal representation? I don't need it. I can tell you that you've been arrested on suspicion of conspiracy to abduct Leo Newman. No comment. <laughs> nope. There's obviously been some sort of misunderstanding. They're going to see this soon. When you get to the episodes where she does some badass stuff that nobody saw coming, were you elated, excited, or were you like, oh, no, no? I was so excited. I think that Natalie has such a big arc in the yeah. series she starts in one place, um, a very normal, everyday place, and she ends somewhere completely different. And she goes through some really intense things in the script. And I think that it's just reflective of, of Rob Williams's writing, that he manages to kind of really go there with her and really show how somebody might react in the series of situations she's put in. So hard, no spoilers. <laughs> Um, was, um, yeah, I, I was just so excited to kind of dig my teeth into her. I don't know how you're going to get through your interviews today because you're literally like so close to telling us something and then you're like, no, stop, hold back. Yeah, it's a lot of kind of talking around the subject. <laughs> also really beautiful to see London like this. For me, like I live in London and I'm like, oh my God, I know there, I know there, I know there, I know there. It was such an international show. And I know um, at the moment, you may not have shared any on-screen time with Uma. I'm not going to reveal if you do by the end of the series. But when you see Uma Thurman's attached to it, Kill Bill, I've grown up adoring her. Were you a fan also? And did you have a moment where you were like, guys, I need some time with her? <laughs> I was a, a, bit, a huge fan of Uma Thurman. I am a huge fan of Uma Thurman. Love Kill Bill, love Pulp Fiction. She's an icon. Um, yeah, it was, it, it was amazing knowing that she was joining the show. And I remember kind of finding out about it because they hadn't told us yet um, at the beginning when we were kind of doing like rehearsals and things like that. And I remember it kind of being a, like a secret that was kind of buzzing around. Oh, it's going to be Uma, it's going to be Uma. Um, so I was so excited. Um, but no, I, I didn't, I didn't ask, ask if I could have my own time with her <laughs> like a crazy person. I think that might have overstepped the line a bit, um, but she's really wonderful. <laughs> and um, do you know what was really interesting watching it? The sound, the music is played so beautifully, so incredible. It's so, it almost feels like a music executive put this soundtrack together because it's just so, those that love music like me are going to be like, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I think that that was something that um, Chris Long, um, the director, he, he was really, he's really into music. And while we were filming, he would sometimes be like, yeah, yeah, and this, this, I'm going to be using this song. And like, you know, for some scenes, he, he might be like, play it before and be like this, I'm probably going to use this here. And then, you know, in between filming, he might be like, oh, I just heard this song. So it, that was definitely all, you know, from the, from the get go, there was a plan that it, it was heavily going to be kind of influenced by music. I've watched the whole series. You're a prominent figure. Like, you're a big star in this. You're, con you're As you said, she goes on this whole journey. Does this blow you away? Is this one of those moments where you're like, damn, all the hard work is paying off because now everyone gets to see me do my thing? Yeah, it's just so wonderful to see the show come out. It's been a very long process because we started filming just before, you know, the first COVID outbreak and and the lockdown and then we came back and and then we kind of managed to finish it off and then it's been you know something like a year and and now it's it it's finally out so it's just nice it's funny and you know you you make things um and sometimes it takes a while for them to come out and um it's always kind of a relief and an excitement when they finally do so Catherine Newman I cannot imagine what you're going through at the moment I love my son and I want him back Okay, final thing, let's just tease board what people can expect. I'm going to throw some words, you throw some words. Okay. okay. I'm going to say deaths. Oh! <laughs> uh, revelations. Um, shock. Um, <laughs> fighting. Twist. 
terms. Unexpected ending. Yeah, a, a, a great ending. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you are absolutely awesome to watch in this. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Um, That's so, so kind. Funny. What else you do? Like, what's oh, coming? Thank you so much. You have underestimated these people right from the beginning. The truth will come out.